Hey, back for more with your old pal Kip. Hey, usually my channel is all about the Promaster vans, but I wanted to document some vintage Hagstroms and some of my own, which are customs. That's kind of my thing. Custom uh, taking basket cases and turning them into custom basket cases with Hagstrom. Uh, I'm not going to go over the details of what a Hagstrom is. Well, maybe I will. Swedish, early 60s. This is a 63. This is called a Hagstrom um, Impala. It is not a, it is, it is a custom in that it is redone. Most of them were sunburst, like the base I have, the Coronado base, which you'll see in another one of my videos. Um, the guitar version could be had in two pickups as a Corvette and three pickups as an Impala, or maybe I have that backwards. This particular one is either 63 or 64. They didn't make this particular model uh, very long. And what's unique about it, even in terms of Hagstrom's, is that it's actually a neck through, or a set neck. Um, no, it's a set neck. It isn't a neck through. And, um, and I have customized it, of course, with a custom pickguard. I have also, this is how it would have come with three single coils. These single coils are really quite special. They're Alnico magnets. They have a, Hagstrom single coils like this have a certain sound. They come in two styles, these rounder the shouldered ones and a square shouldered one. They're basically the same pickup. Very interesting. Uh, and, and for a long time I played a, a Fender Strat with, that I had transported Hagstrom pickups into. Uh, this one, however, just to be goofy, I happen to have four base single coils, so I put them in. The pole pieces are really decorative. The, it's actually a bar magnet underneath, so I don't think there's that much difference from the base to the to the uh, to the guitar pickup. Although I have guitar pickups, and I probably will put those back in because these are a little bit thin and and kind of hi-fi sounding. Wonderful guitar. They make a reissue of this, as a matter of fact, although it's not quite the same. But wonderfully light. Wonderfully thin. The claim to fame of Hagstrom's is super thin, fast playing necks with low action, small frets, uh, and big and a very flat radius. Very cool and, and somewhat unique in the 60s sense. The fastest playing neck in the in the 60s. Uh, this is a wonderfully light and balanced guitar. When I got it, it was just a body uh, with the neck, and I added uh, everything. I added uh, the paint, the tuners. Uh, the tremolo, which I'm missing the arm, but the tremolo is also pretty cool. What makes Hagstrom special also is, um, in case you don't know, is this bridge design. Each individual string is adjustable fore and aft, side to side, and up and down. It's a three-axis setup. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. And I actually, I use kind of a spread string spacing, just as happens to me by preference, but you would be able to do that with there may be a Gretsch that does that somewhere along the line. Anyway, that's enough of me yakking. I'm going to start. I just have each of the pickups on a toggle. The original version would have had this kooky switch plate from an accordion where you could select one, two, three, and then you had a tone control, and you had two volume controls, and a lever volume, like on the bass video I have. Uh, very cool, that lever thing. Uh, volume lever is superior to volume knob, I think. I just have a master tone and a master volume and an individual on-off for each pickup. Anyway, let's party, shall we? We're plugged in. Let's try the uh, bridge pickup. This is going to be quite biting. You can hear it. Pretty ferocious. So much so that I'd turn the tone down to get something out of, out of that sound. Let's add the middle, or just listen to the middle on its own. at on this particular guitar. But if you add them all in, not a huge, uh, not a huge variance. Inside and outside, pretty good sound. And there you get the idea. 